Uh, the 12 people who will decide the fate of former President Trump have been impaneled and they're ready to begin hearing testimony. Seven men and five women. Jury selection, though, continues today for five alternates. They'll also hear evidence and be ready to step in if one of the main jurors are excused. Eyewitness News reporter Phil Tate outside the courthouse in Lower Manhattan this morning. Phil? Yeah, well, Trump is back in court and not too happy about it, already criticizing the judge's gag order. Well, this after a roller coaster of a day just yesterday, as two jurors were excused. But even with the shakeup, Judge Mershon was able to say, We have our jury that's now seated, made up of seven men and five women. The focus of today is to make sure that all of those alternate jurors are selected. As for the jury that's now seated, this comes after a days long search of potential jurors to serve for the duration of the former president's first criminal trial. Now, these 12 jurors sworn in will decide if Trump is innocent or guilty related to an alleged 2016 hush money payment to adult film actress Stormy Daniels. Now, this hasn't been an easy task as two jurors were excused, one after expressing doubt of her ability to be fair and impartial, the other over his concerns of inaccurate answers. Well, as court has resumed, lawyers could meet with Judge Mershon to discuss some legal matters as according to a court filing, if Trump testifies, prosecutors want to question him about the times he's been held liable in civil court. Well, as the former president is back in court today, he said he'd rather be focused on the race to the White House. So instead of being in Pennsylvania or Georgia or North Carolina or lots of other places today, I'm sitting in a courthouse all day long. This is going on for the week, and this will go on for another four or five weeks. And just to note, it's been a process just getting to this point of us seeing the seated jury as 177 potential jurors had to be had to actually go through this process. The focus today is to make sure that those alternate jurors are selected as opening statements could very well begin Monday. We're in Lower Manhattan this morning. I'm Phil Tate, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. History come Monday. Thank you so much, Phil.